word with the prisoner. All right, Merib, make it quick. Father! Oh, I never would survive. That I trained my daughter well. Please, I would not allow myself to believe anything different. Have they mistreated you? No. no. I believe they're saving that part for my execution. Three days from now. It will not come to that. We'll get you out of here. In two days, the daughter of the Pharaoh will wed. Most of the guards will be needed to control the crowds. This is Merib. Remember Henu's boy? Oh, Henu. Your father was a great warrior. He had dreams that you would grow up to be a scholar. The chief jailer will attend Amneri's wedding. They've assigned a lovely guard to take his place, a man I know. You're suggesting you may be able to bribe this guard. <laughs> Let's just say we've done business in the past. That would take a lot of gold. I have it! For years I've been stealing from the palace. I thought maybe someday I could use it to get back to Nubia. But if I can send my king home, I'll we'll do... We'll all be going home soon, Merib. Now how are the docks guarded? By the captain's soldiers. So they are to slim. Can you use a sword? Me? <laughs> Actually, I'd better provide an encouragement from the sidelines. <laughs> a fight will not be necessary. They'll let us through. Captain Radamus give you that? Captain? An Egyptian? Well, yes. But he's not like the others, father. He leads Pharaoh's armies. But he did not lay waste to our country like the others. He regrets his past. Aida! Do not shame yourself with such witless sentiment. Do not tell me that this man grieves for the Nubian men executed, the women ravaged, the children sent into slavery. Any soft look that you have given to this man, any soft word, betrays the innocents who have suffered at his hand and at the hand of every soldier that he commands. You will cut this man from your heart. No. No, Aida, for your father's sake, cut this man from your heart. <laughs> 